In this video, we're going to learn the art of piano tuning. Hey, my name is Paul Tobik from Jazz Mental. The good news here is I'm not a professional tuner, so if I can tune a piano, and this is a pricey seven foot grand, it's a full grand, uh, anything over seven feet is a grand piano, not a baby grand. If I can tune this, and I've been tuning it for years, then you can learn to tune as well. I basically didn't take any courses. I've just asked questions over the years. I watched piano tuners tune my piano and other pianos like a thousand times. It's actually not that difficult and I'm gonna dive in and get started right away. So the first thing you're gonna need is a couple of tools. I got these piano tuning or this piano tuning kit from my son who bought it for me for Christmas. I had others before this. And you're only gonna need a few things. First thing is a tuning hammer that's fairly solid and doesn't bend when you turn the keys or the tuning pins. Then you're gonna need a couple of these mutes, right? The little rubber ones. We're gonna need a screwdriver, not this one. We're gonna need the flat screwdriver. And we're gonna need a mute strip, which is this red thing right here. This is called a mute strip, I think. Not sure exactly what the technical term is, but that's what I call it. And that's pretty much all we're gonna need as far as tools are concerned. And then in addition to that, we're gonna need an app called Piano Meter. Now, Piano Meter, I'm gonna put a link to in the video that's coming up shortly. You're gonna to wanna to get this app. It's extremely helpful. You don't need to use a tuning fork. In fact, this is far more accurate than that. And it's very helpful in terms of an app. I have the Pro one. I think it was like $30, so not a huge investment. And I've been tuning my piano with it now for a couple of years. So the first thing we're gonna do is open up the piano by taking off the sheet music holder here. Just slide it out like this. And then let's sit it up by the wall. And that of course reveals all the pins and the strings. Now you'll notice the strings have three strings all the way down to here, and then all the way up the piano to the top, and then it, down in the bottom it changes to two strings and then one string for the very, very low notes. We're gonna start right in the middle on middle C, and we're going to tune our piano from there. So the first thing we're gonna do is stick on a mute strip. Now the reason why I'm tuning the piano right now is because I just moved. You'll notice that the background here has changed. The piano is not in its permanent position because I'm building a music studio just right over there, but that room's not ready yet. So it's kind of in the living room right now with the kitchen in the background. And this is a new location. So it just came in off the truck. We moved it using professional movers and you should always tune your piano after a move because you know, it's been out in the cold and it's been sitting on a truck traveling like an hour and a half. And that's why I'm tuning it. Now, this is different from spot tuning. I'm gonna tune the entire piano and we're gonna talk about spot tuning during these tutorials. So the first thing you'll do is just find middle C and of course you can see the hammer move and the stopper or the damper going up here and basically take your screwdriver and push the mute in about half an inch. Then just do a bend in there, half an inch and just surround the two strings on the outside of each note, just like this. I'm sure that piano tuners who do this all the time are much faster than I am, but hey, it takes a little bit of patience to tune a piano, but you can do it. It's not that difficult to get this in there. Now, when you get to here, you can't put a mute strip on the other side of this because of the bar here. So we just go over the bar and then start here on this note. Hopefully you can see this in the video. I've got some cameras set up, hopefully optimally so that you can see. And let's go as high as we can go with the mute strip. And what this will do is it'll make the middle note or the middle string of each of the notes is the only one you can hear. So let's hear it. So it obviously sounds a lot thinner than this note, which is three strings. This is now really just one string, and that's why you're gonna hear that little weird sound 
because the two strings on the outside are muted. So then all we need to do is grab our tuning app and as soon as you press a note, and I usually just sit it right here, when you press the note, it'll find the note for you. In this case, C4, and you can see that it should be somewhere near the zero, which means perfectly in tune A440. And in this case, it's at plus one or a little bit above. So what we wanna do is we wanna back that up. Now this is the hard part when you go to tune. First of all, follow the string up and find the middle pin right there. Make sure this is down. You don't need to whack it or anything, but just make sure that it's down and tight and you can move it with your arm left and right. Now, if you just turn the string like this, you can hear it move a little bit, but remember there is a area here where the strings go through that's holding these strings down and there's another one up there on the other end. And so when you're turning the pin, it's typically gonna move the string more a little bit here than it is down here. So we need to do something called set the pin. So the first thing we're gonna do is when we get the, it down a little bit below, and I went a little too low, Right, it's way down below C4. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring it up a little bit by just gently pulling on the pin. With little jerks, like this. Now we've got it up to here. As soon as you get close to the zero, which is straight up and down, you wanna whack that key a pretty good. Now you can't obviously push the key through the bottom of the pad, but what you want to do is basically just whack it. And what that'll do is that'll even out the tension all the way along the string. And as soon as I did that, you can see that it lowered a little bit in terms of tuning. So now what we're going to do is we're going to jerk it so that you can feel the pin move. If all you do is just pull on it, it's only gonna move a portion of the string and it's only gonna set the pin partially. So you wanna move it with little jerks so that you can actually feel it move. And again, we've gone a little bit too far, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna push it back the other way ever so gently. Whack it, and now we're somewhere closer to zero. It doesn't need to be right on, but it needs to be somewhere in the middle. That looks good. And you can see all of the black dots which surround the circle are not moving very much, especially the outer one. So we're good on that. Whack it a few times. And the pin is set. If you don't whack it really hard, now you don't need to super whack it hard, but if you don't whack it hard, the pin won't be set. And the next time you go to play, after a few playings, it's gonna go right back out of tune. Let's do one more. Let's go up to D flat or C sharp. And again, that one's a little sharp. So what we're gonna do is find the middle pin here, make sure it's set properly. Back it off so that it's below. Whack it and then small jerks. And there we go. Let's do one more. Let's go up to D. Again, follow the string along, middle pin. So you can see that's so sharp that it, it actually thinks it's another note. So that one was way out. So now we're close to D4. Okay, it's a little bit below zero, but that's okay. So what you wanna do is you wanna be somewhere 
on the zero side of between minus one and zero and somewhere on the zero side between zero and plus one and it should be close enough. So let's go back and check those three notes. And I think the D is a little bit flat, so let's see if we can get a little bit closer. There we go, that's a little bit better. Okay, some people like their piano tuned a little bit sharp, some people like it a little bit flat, I kind of like it as close as I can to A440. Okay, so then what would happen is, as I get closer to the top of the piano, it's gonna get a little bit harder and harder to tune because the pins can only move small amounts because the strings are shorter and shorter and shorter. So the longer the string, the more movement there is, the shorter the string, the smaller the movements. So it's a lot harder in the upper register to get notes tuned properly than it is for the notes in the lower register. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. In the next video, we're going to learn how to get some notes tuned in the upper register and then start working on the lower notes, but we're also gonna learn how to set unisons because of course, in each note that we've done so far, we've only done one of the strings per note. We need to get all three strings in tune and there's some tricks to figure that out. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. Thanks so much for joining me. We'll see you in the next tutorial.